So first we take the uh, tow hitch out of the boot. And take it round to the front of the car. We then place the bag down lovely and then we free the swinging arms and move the brake connector we move the arms into position thank you very much we take out the padlock, the pin, which locks, and the washer, in that order. And we place those over where we're going to need them on the left pin. We then feed the pole just through the first of the rotating ball joints. We then lift the whole assembly and then feed the pole right the way through so that it just sits in the other eyelet. So we bring the arm up to meet the other end of the pin which pushes through easily. We check at the other end that that's all engaged and that we can see our two holes. We then take the washer and that goes on the end of the pole. The locking pin and finally the padlock which is both a double check and security and take the key. So we then retrieve the brake hook and adjuster and this fits on to an eyelet that sticks out of the radiator. We then hook the hook on and we turn this Not until it's tight, but till the cable is supported. This will allow us to raise this and hook on. We're checking that we can see green, which means that it's fully engaged and won't come off. We then take the emergency breakaway cable, which if the tow, tow car became detached, would pull the safety brakes on the car and bring it to a halt. And that is there. We then take the front connector which as you can see has a similar key device and we hook it into the one on our tow bar. Underneath the bonnet is the connector that connects the car's lights and turns it into a caravan or trailer. This hooks onto the rear connector and it can only go in one way. It's colour keyed, it's, it's keyed, sorry. That pushes in and then this cable feeds. like that. We then double check as it's a very good idea to do this. So we check that we can see green and that this is fully engaged. Double check the connector that the emergency breakaway cable is hooked through and secure and won't catch out on anything. That the handbrake is off. We then check that the pins are locked through 
at this end. We check that there's enough slack, but not too much on the brakes. And we check that our electrics are hooked up securely and that the catches are across and locked in position. Check that the bonnet is down as well. And there's just a few checks that we have to make to make sure that the car is safe before we drive off. Number one, we turn the key fully on, wiggle the steering wheel, move it back one position and double check that the steering is still moving. We then make sure that the car is in neutral and we check that the handbrake is off. And those are all we have to do. And finally, we fit the sticker inside the rear window. 